I'm 17 years old and I live in Dallas. I'm here to speak for myself, my family, and to some degree my generation, who will inherit the earth as your generation leaves it to us. When I was younger, my family lived on the Barnett Shale. Our town had 50 wells with plans to go to over 100. Our house was a mile from gas wells that released emissions into the air and regularly had spills. There were plans for fracking within a thousand feet of homes and near my school. A cul-de-sac in the neighborhood across the street had several cases of rare childhood cancers. The health department determined breast cancer rates were elevated. My family moved. We were fortunate. Many people do not have the means to move. A lot of my interests and life goals stem from my family's time living near fracking. I'm on my school's policy debate team. In the world of high school policy debate, the objective is to suggest a policy plan that solves the problem presented by the debate topic. Your opponent argues why your policy plan won't work. Do you know what the two of the biggest impacts that you don't want your plan to cause are? Climate change and nuclear war. Just about any other bad outcome is something you can recover from. Economic decline, you'll rebuild. Proxy conflicts, you'll make peace. Climate change and nuclear war lead to extinction. There's no coming back from that. You've lost the lives of every single human living and the lives of every potential subsequent generation. Countless lives. What could be argued to be worse than that, the loss of that many lives? Think about this. High school kids like me are sitting in classrooms all across the nation accepting that climate change leads to our extinction. That's it. Done. If we know this, how can you not? I have a 336 page climate file. It has my 24 different scenarios in which climate change leads to extinction. This is something I use in debate. 24 ways. I also have a section on how climate change amplifies the likelihood of other horrifying risks, like nuclear war and disease spread. Debate kids need to talk about climate change in virtually every debate, regardless of the topic, from immigration to arms sales, because you have not made this existential risk go away. Why is it so hard for you to act on this? Where is the urgency to treat this like the unmatched emergency it is? My generation wishes we could grow up tomorrow and tackle this. We wish we could stand in your shoes with your education, your experience, and the levers of power at your disposal and show you how to courageously wield them. But we still have growing up to do. I'm applying to colleges now. I want to study public policy and environmental science and someday make the kind of positive impact I still hold out hope I may see from you. My generation needs time. Time to grow, learn, innovate, and contribute. We'll gladly seize the reins when the time comes, but you've got to give us the breathing room. You've got to slow the role of climate change. Rolling back methane controls is doing the opposite. It is actively accelerating our path towards extinction. If you do that, you aren't giving us a chance. Thank you.